Hey guys, what is up, Blackjack here, and welcome to Minecraft. A new game for the channel, but definitely not a new game by itself. We all know Minecraft, we all love Minecraft. It's been here for a good long while, and that is why one of the reasons why we're gonna be playing this. There's a few other reasons, mind you, that I'm not doing yet another Siege video or yet another Subnautica episode, and the Subnautica one I'll get to in a bit. I just want to bring in some more content for the channel, the 116 update. It's not exactly absolutely new. You know, I probably should have done this way at the beginning of the 116 update. That would have been a good time. But hey, I'm not exactly the smartest person in the world. So here we are, 116.1. And I know it says modded down there, but don't worry about that because I'm not actually going to be running any mods outside of uh, Optifine just for the performance increase and the uh, zoom key and all that. I just love Optifine, really. Yeah, with all of that being said, I think it's time to just get started. There's not really a whole lot to talk about. We will be exploring the nether, we'll be building farms, we'll be going to the end, killing the ender dragon, you know, doing the wither, and all that stuff. So, it's gonna be a series that progresses on its own terms. So, I would definitely love some feedback from all of you guys, because again, new directions for the channel is always a little scary. So, you know, knowing what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing right is that I'm gonna have to leave that to you guys because I might think this is a great episode and you guys might think no it sucks so with that being said let's jump in and here we are a brand new seed a brand new world and hey look a bee that's actually great bees in the 115 update they were added but I can't exactly punch that thing down otherwise they're gonna be yeah they're gonna be mad so I don't really want to uh I don't want to make, I want to make sure I stay close to these guys because, again, I'm just ideas popping into my head right off the bat. So, where am I in this world? Looks like this is a river and I'm caught between an oak and birch forest and a spruce forest. Three wood types off the bat. Fantastic. So, we all know the drill. Let's get down to punching a tree. Stuff to get started. I mean, really, a wooden axe is somewhat similar to a standard uh, hand punching. It's only slightly faster. Not the best thing. But hey, it is what it is. And just this music. One of the best things in Minecraft, hands down. It's OST. I'll just put it out there right now. If you don't appreciate Minecraft's uh, soundtrack, then we can't be friends. I'm sorry. All right. 13 wood to get things started. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, I, we also want that. A new axe would be great. So let's make a few more sticks and an axe. There you go. Right, now to get to some stone. The good thing about having a river close by is that it's going to get me some sand and sugar cane. You can see it like right down there. Some clay and gravel. Plenty of building materials out of the bat, which is great. Hey, look at that Stone Age. All right, 20 should be enough. Plop the craft crafting table down. <laughs> and let's get to work. Stone tools, baby. Immediately, we get ourselves some stone tools. Honestly, sticks in this game are weird. Like, I feel they're weird. You run out of them so quickly. It's not even, like... It's not even funny how quickly you run out of sticks in this game. It's actually pretty hilarious and I know what I said was entirely like stupid but you know like I said at the beginning of the video I'm not exactly the smartest person in the world so yeah there's another bees nest yo this is a good beginning but yeah I play a lot of Minecraft in my spare time when I'm not doing Rainbow Six when I'm not casting at the tech league I just sit back relax and let these chill vibes envelop me as I just get down to playing Minecraft that's pretty much what I do all day and that's some, one of the things I plan to continue doing uh, for as long as I can. But without, with that being said, of course, what we're going to be doing for this episode for the most part is... Hi. Uh, what we're going to be doing for the most part in this episode itself is focusing on settling in. Getting our base in, like our starter house, into a particular area. Getting it set, getting ready, and beginning things itself. You know, I'm not going to be focusing on going crazy with the diamond finding or massive, you know, redstone farms off the bat. No, 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 no. None of that. I'm just going to be focusing on getting started. Ooh, yes. Ooh, 
This, this, I think this entire thing counts as a river biome, but more than that, that, that little area, that plain area right there is perfect. It's going to give me everything I need and then some to get started. Uh, right now, of course, our main goal is to just clear out this little patch of land, turn this into as plain of an area as possible, and then move in to the place, start building. We just spawned in this place where... We don't know what's going on. We're fresh off the boat, sort of. And we are just looking for a place to live. Unfortunately, there's no villages close by. And I get the feeling that this world may or may not have villages super far from where I am. Again, exploration is key in this situation. Also, grass, it's, it's gotta go. Ooh. Hi, sheep, perfect, perfect, three sheep right at the bat, absolutely fantastic, right, let's just start building our place, you know, it's gonna be nice and, it's gonna be nice and small, there's not gonna, gonna be too much uh, focus or emphasis on making it like this gigantic place, it's just gonna be nice and tiny. Before we do any of that, since it's coming close to nighttime, you're gonna have to go. Give me that wool. Give me that wool. The amount of sheep is great because I can then breed them up into the amount that I want and get myself a wool farm. Again, I'm just thinking a little bit too far ahead. <laughs> I just need to. I just need to plop things down and get started. Yeah, why not? Some light in this dark world and. Good night. <laughs> Where did he come from? Hi. Hi. It's nice to have you here. And it's nice to see you go away too. Alright. Time to get some stone and some coal. I believe there was some stone over at this way. And it's a good thing that these squid are here too. Color and building material is plenty. Cool. Like a plenty here in this region. And that's great. But very soon, I don't I don't know how soon it'll be in terms of a Let's Play series, but if I were playing this save normally by myself, I would probably focus on getting those in first, then I would go for diamonds. But I, I, know, I know what I need to do right now, which is cut down more trees. Deforestation, ahoy. Also, again, look at the number of squid here. Yeah, yeah, we will definitely be making use of that. Now I wonder... What are the chances of a wandering trader uh, spawning like five minutes into a new world? I mean, be honest. If you, when you play Minecraft and you see the wandering trader, do you let him go, or do you outright just kill him for his lead? Uh, because I know I do, but I'd like to. I'd like to hear what what everybody else does with that guy. Mm, it should be plenty stone for now. I need to find some sort of fuel source, i.e., coal. Not exactly finding a whole lot of coal right now. Not sure why either. Probably gonna need to find some sort of cave system. Maybe I could turn that turn that hole in the wall into a mine. I I know it looks a little plain right now, right? This entire thing is just a wooden box and whatnot. And again, starter house in the first episode itself. And when it comes to building in Minecraft, I'm not exactly the best guy to ask. I'm probably actually the worst guy to ask. When it comes to Minecraft building, so bear with me, people. Oh. Well, I did find a mine entrance. Kind of what I set out to do, but didn't quite expect it to be so, um, so hot. And it's right across my house. Speaking of which, I should probably break down this tree. Right. So, we're going to need to get down here safely. And, uh, yeah, safe is pretty much the optimal term here, isn't it? Um, I should probably bring my dirt. Yeah, you know what? Give me just a sec, and I'm going to go get all the dirt I have, because that's going to be pretty useful here. A few moments later. Let's just be careful here, yeah? Not, not, not to... Not to lose everything immediately would be a good thing, so let's just take care of that lava. And keep moving downwards. Diorite. 
Yeah, I'm not a fan of Diorite. Uh, I know, I know that at one point I remember building a whole ass house out of Diorite and exclusively Diorite blocks, and I know, absolutely disgusting of me. Could this actually, yo, underground ravine? That is, mm, that's a, that's actually a lot more amazing than I thought it would be right off the bat. Yeah, also four, four spruce sapling. You know what? Seeing as we're going to be living here anyway, I might want to plop a tree down. It'll have to be a little lopsided, um, because I want a super spruce to grow here. So I'll have to extend that wall by one, make this a double door. But yeah, I think I think that that's going to work. It's going to... It's going <laughs> to... It's gonna add that little something to this base. You know what I mean? All right, let's test this out. They're actually pretty similar. The oak wood and spruce wood. So I don't think I'm actually gonna be doing that now. But right now, there we go. That's actually a lot of light. That is a perfectly large amount of light to just plop down and get to work with. There. Should be good enough. Should be good enough for lighting. That should get us started easily. Now a tiny, tiny sweet berry farm. How do we go about this? We use our dirt blocks. Honestly, the easiest resource to come by in Minecraft is dirt blocks. There's like no better alternative to style to like uh, discount scaffolding and. Uh, usage just in general if you want something to build with if you want something to i don't i'm not really sure why you would build with dirt but hey you do you i'm not gonna judge but uh yeah overall it's just fine we'll of course change that out when time goes when uh, when we get the time for it but right now torches out and actually while we're at it let me get a another stone pickaxe hope and actually we can make another one so hop there we go wow that goes pretty deep and i don't think i actually want to go that deep just yet i want to move around just a little bit and get to this other ledge i'm about to dig my way through there but it should work out and it's a little bit of light in this in this very dark and very deep trench You never know what lurks in the dark uh, when it comes to Minecraft. It could be anything. And I don't really want to run that risk right now. All I want is some coal and I will be out of here. Okay, and there's iron. That actually looks like the entryway to a potential cave system over there. And I might want to go that route? Question mark? Ooh. Oh, you're up there. And there's iron up there too. Yo. Yo, I can see like lava. Yeah, that. Yo, that that goes even deeper over there. Okay, 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 okay. We are definitely going to be exploring that place very soon, very very soon. I can't believe the kind of areas I've already run into, starting a Minecraft survival series. Damn. Ah, our first zombie. A couple more. There you go. I almost thought it dropped a slime block, and I was about to say, like, what the hell? But nah, no slime blo uh, slime blocks for me, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, why would a zombie drop a slime block? That's just stupid. Again, my brain is absolutely fantastic. Gotta keep an eye out on these corners, man. <sighs> Iron spawns are actually quite sneaky when you think about it. Sometimes they'll just spawn randomly in corners you wouldn't look to check twice. Like, I cannot even tell you the number of times I've been out caving and I've just seen like, oh hey, iron's over there. I didn't even notice that because it's in a corner that I can't actually see. Now I need to make sure I'm not gonna drop myself into the ravine by digging out this particular area of iron. Now I'm good. Right. Uh, probably wanna drop down a torch and keep moving. Now, do I want to drop down here? It's an underground lake, pretty much, right? And 
I feel like dropping down there would be a mistake. A happy mistake. Whoa. Flowing water. Mm, break the current. There we go. Alright, now I need to build my way out. <laughs> Hope. There we go. Move ahead, and that's plenty of coal, honestly. That's more coal than I originally set out to find, but yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. So, how much iron is that, actually? 30? Yeah, 30 iron ingots. That's enough to get ourselves... Oi! I take my hand off the mouse for a minute. Not even a minute, like a second, but yeah, whatever. 30 iron is actually good enough to get our first set of gear, I think. Uh, iron gear, like proper iron gear. Yeah. We might want to continue exploring this place, though. Because there's going to be plenty of cave systems. I'm just afraid of that guy down there. Creepers are not fun. <laughs> like, there's just absolutely no fun. I feel like I should go back, get all of my iron stuff. <clears throat> Holy moly, my voice is not supporting me today. And, of course, it's nighttime. Mad dash. Time for me to dash back home. Yeah, the torches have lit that uh, area up nicely. No problems there. Just gonna... Oh, yeah. Oh, what the hell? No, 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 no. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, F uh, to be fair, I did not expect the mega tree to glow grow this many leaves off the bat, all right? Uh, in my defense, in my defense, I did not expect it to grow this many leaves. Uh, so, okay, sure, yeah, I mean, why not? I don't normally get this lucky with mega trees. But here we are. Absolutely, absolutely stunning. I'm gonna have to build this place much, much wider than I originally thought. Oh damn! I'm just gonna, just gonna clear out some of this, some of it, not all of it, of course. And I think our starter house might just become our main house. Yeah, at this point, at this point, yeah, there's no, no replacing anything. Hi, bone meal, perfect. Oh boy. <sighs> I could make a bone block, but I'm not gonna deal with that right now. What I need is lots of wood. And a lot, and when I say the lots of wood, I mean like a lot of wood. I need a dedicated wood growing area uh, very soon. I'm going to need that very, very soon. Ooh. Hi. Nearly blew up there. Gunpowder. Nice. Gunpowder is good. Gunpowder is okay. I can't exactly make TNT with two gunpowder, but yeah, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Anyway, what I need is a fence area to, like massive fenced areas, really. Where I can grow, uh, like breed the cows and the sheep from this place. Because I'm going to need to do that. I'm going to need to do a lot of that for food. And setting up an automatic food system is actually one of the things I want to get done in this first episode itself. So let's get to work. Like you get, you, get, you think, alright, hey, why not make a giant tree in the middle of my house and sure it sounds like a good idea and then it grows into the tree that i have right next to me like this i thought this was a pretty big starter house but no i'm gonna have to make it even bigger and turn this into my actual base eventually we're gonna have to make many many changes to it as well which oh boy it's gonna be it's gonna be one hell of a ride i can just turn this whole area into um, into a beginner's farm wouldn't exactly hurt so, yeah, one of the big things about Minecraft is always have more than you think you need. And now that I've said that, watch me never stick to that in future episodes, right? So, since I have the bone meal, again, just to get started. That actually worked out a lot better than I thought. Five wheat. I'm not gonna make bread out of this, no sir. 
We're not we're not bread gang here. Minecraft bread actually doesn't isn't that good. I think right now I should focus on cows because I have a bed. Sheep can come later, so cows. I know for a fact there was some here. Where did all the cows go? There you are. Come here, both of you. Come here. Come on. Come on. There's plenty of this this good stuff. You want this wheat, right? You want it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, look at him. Look at him following my every command. Come here. There we go. And and run. Boop. Hey, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Damn, I hear a lot of spiders close. Like, a lot. Wow. Oh, that, yeah, that's also ready for collecting. Damn. There's like so much, ow. Really? I took damage from that fall? Come on. But those spiders are going to be pretty useful because if, if that is a spider spawner in that area, that would mean that uh, I can potentially have a load of string right off the bat. Again, fantastic. Oh, that doesn't leave me enough for the boots though, but that does leave me enough for shears. No, 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 no. I'm not going to be using shears right now. What do you mean? No. I need extra for helmets is what I need. Right now, I need to just focus on lighting the whole place up because I don't want mobs to be spawning here, at least here, right? In the closest vicinity to my base, I want myself to be spared of that pain. And I don't need to be dealing with like creepers when I don't even have a dedicated farm area yet. But that being said, I'm gonna be running out of food the rate I'm going. <laughs> I need to breed up these cows really, really quickly. There's a lot of housekeeping that I have to do. Again, episode one. There's, there's stuff to be done, stuff to be taken care of. Hi, hi. Very low on food. Very low on everything else. Let's go for mining. Actually, before we go out mining, right? I want to try and see what all the spider noises were about, right? There was a particular area... Where there was like a huge amount of spiders. And oh, I mean, oh yeah, it is. It's a spider spawner. Perfect. Oh, yo. Oh, this is just regular cave spiders. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely amazing. Regular cave spiders. Not, not, the, not the green, tiny, absolute devils. And we've got some bread. So lots of bones. Amazing, a music disc, a name tag, and a bucket, yo. I'm not sure about the beetroot though. Hey, C for 18 cat, horse armor, and some string. Amazing, absolutely wonderful. And I feel like there's a cave around here as well. That would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, yep, there you go, there you go. Yo, what is up? What is up? This is fantastic. As soon as I come down here, you can like hear the sounds all over the place. The music does not fit whatsoever, but we're gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. It is Minecraft music. Oh, hi. Hi. Not today, thank you. Oh, I just sent him down. Did he go down to the Shadow Realm? Oh, Wide open spaces. Yeah, when it comes to Minecraft, I don't necessarily trust wide open spaces in caves. Ooh, what the? You're in a weird... S Ow! You little... You little... Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. Don't you just love it when things end up accidentally going your way? Like, did I mean to come down here? No, not in the slightest. Did I mean to find that dungeon? Yeah, kind of. But did I mean to end up with not just a dungeon, but with a bucket and a bucket of water? No, I did not. That, that right there, people. That is what we're here for. That is what Minecraft is all about. The buckets of water. Okay, that is, I think this entire area checked out for the most part. Now for me to get in there, collect all the resources before I make my exit. I feel like, how much gravel do I have? That's already over two stacks, so seriously? The, the most collected thing I have, second to wood, is gravel. Right, all that gravel has been collected. Now all I need to do is find the way back out of here. 
We'll be using this though. We will be using this spider spawner. It'll be a good source of XP, it'll be a good source of string and spider eye. But yeah, we've got it. Full iron gear, let's go. Yeah, there's gonna need a tree farm and a few dispensers, so. Yeah, lots of things in there. What the hell is that? Is that a horse? Did I just see a horse? Hold a minute. I know I saw something back here. Wait, is this another entrance? Oh, damn, it is. What did I even see back here? Interesting. I may have just completely hallucinated that. <laughs> I'm not sure. What we're going to do right now is go down to the mines once again. We're going to mine out more, more resources. And I think the best place to go would actually be into the ravine itself. Uh, because that other area, I'll turn that into like my strip mine area. This is th this has given us a ravine to explore. And I feel like not exploring said ravine would actually be you know, it would be a little a little sad. So, let's just get moving. That's actually a long drop down. There's some gold and that's a looks like a key system as well. So there's definitely something up. Something, something nice. Look at him. <laughs> It's like he's saying, what, 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 what? What are you looking at? Huh? What are you looking at? Huh? Yeah. Well. Ugh. That spider is not actually trying to come for me, is it? It's actually gotten all the way up here. That's not a good thing. And wow. All right. It just, all right. Like, even here... Subnautica, it's stupid fish. In Minecraft, it's just stupid spiders. Ooh. Goodbye. The zombies just outright suck at movement, right? Oh. Do we... Perchance... We do. We do. We do. We do. Another one. And there's some that's already spawned here. Hi. Hi, buddy. Oh, this is a zombie spawner. Oh, that's just XP, then. Because there's nothing I can do with the zombie spawner otherwise. But still, a good find. There's no chests here, though. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, that's about the most I can go, except there's more coal down here. Where are we? Oh, we're Y12. Damn. We're... We're already down at diamond level. Yeah, this is diamond level. And there's redstone here as well. Perfect. This is a good little vein that I found for myself. I well, might as well do a little bit of uh, mining while we're out here. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? No way. No way. I'm telling you, man. This game, it's rigged. It's rigged. It is so riggedy rigged. I have enough for the first diamond pickaxe. Bro. Let's just make sure there's nothing around this at all. Oh, boy. I'm a, I'm a little flabbergasted with excitement. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> Like, who, who in their right minds would find treasure like this? A 1x4 block high diamond pile. Let's go. Go. I can't. I can't. Like, how did we end up doing this? Bruh. All right. All right. I'm going to save these coordinates. And let's go back, because now I've got treasure that I cannot die with. Like, if I die with this sort of treasure, I am just straight up not going to be having a good time. Hi. Will this be our first ender pearl as well? Don't tell me. <laughs> we barely survived that. <laughs> Kidding me. 
Bro, no, 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 no. This save is too good. This sa this save is way too good. It's already better than every single other Minecraft save I have ever played. What? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's another one? Woo! No, 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 no. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of you. That's a lot of you. Wait. Too many of you. Please die. Crap. Okay, that one's in a bad spot. That one's in a bad spot. That one is actually in a pretty non-awesome spot. So let me just do that. Yeah, I made a mistake with this. Bro, what the fuck? I desperately need to get some light in this area, dude. There we go. A new area that's full of archers. Isn't that fantastic? Come here. You have no idea. I'm actually sweating slightly. Yee. I don't want to have to eat this carrot, dude. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, what is this game? I just take this cord and let's get out of here. What even has this episode been? I have no clue, but let's quickly head on home with all of this stuff that I found. And I'll see you guys there. I can't even pick up the rest of this redstone because I need an iron pick for that. I'll go here, make some sticks. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah! <laughs> isn't there like an isn't it diamond pick in this uh, challenge, like um, thing that we can get? I don't know, man. But we've also got a jukebox. Amazing. We'll save this for when we go mining in the next episode. The, 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 uh, the diamond find has pretty much taken out my entire need to go diamond mining for like three episodes or something. Because now I can just get to the nether and get to work. That would be amazing. And then like eventually I can make a bee farm from the bees nests over there. I can find slime blocks and make a slime block farm. I can dedicate episodes to farms. And then eventually we can go out and slay the ender dragon. Mm -hmm. And I think on that note, on that very excited note, I'm going to be ending this first episode right here. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like the video, I'm just saying this once again. Leave a like down below to share your support to the channel. And subscribe for more videos like this whenever I can upload them. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.